please click the subscribe button to empower us to continue making more video. Thank you very much. I right, let's look at the content of this course. The first thing we did is to set up Python. Then we look at if Python 3 is the default in your system or Python 2. If it's Python 2, we guide you on how to make Python 3 the default. Then from there, we learn how to install Python. This is how to use what the Python shell. Then how to set up Python with Sublime Test and how to set up Python with Jupyter Notebook. Then we look at Python variable. Then we look at different Python operators as you can see in this place, such as arithmetic, assignment, bitwise, left and right, bitwise, logical, comparison, identity, and membership operator. Then we look at Python comment, then Python data types. The next thing is Python list. So you can see in this place we have a lot of things in Python list. We started from the scratch. What is Python list? We look at different dimensions of Python list from beginner to intermediate level. Nothing is a zoom here because you can see in this place preset by preset, and there are a lot of challenges and solutions with the codes. Challenges and solutions with the codes. A lot of them. Once you understand Python list, the next thing you should understand is what topo. We look at Python topo. What is topo? Creating a topo is topo immutable is topo ordered and so on and so forth after we finish all this theoretical part we look at different challenges and solutions in topo so the next thing was what dictionary you can see a lot of things we did in dictionary from the word very basics in dictionary immediately when we finish all the theoretical part of dictionary we dive into different challenges and solutions in dictionary then we look at python set so many things we covered what in Python set. As you can see in this place. Then we look at frozen set. All this. Then we move to Python string. As you can see in this place, a lot of things we have covered in Python string. A lot, a lot of things. Then a lot of challenges are solution. For you to be able to understand it better. Here we have how many? 42 challenges are solution just for Python string. Okay. Then we look at casting in Python. From casting, we move to Python container. From container, we move to Python rage. From rage, we move to for loop. From for loop now, because you need for loop to understand all this, we move back to what Python rage function to do a lot of what exercises. Here, we move back to for loop to do exercises. Then we move to if statement so you can see in this place from there we move to input function the while loop from while loop we move to what print function from print function we move to list compression see a lot of challenges a solution in this place once you are through with this now the next thing you should do now is to use what you have learned so far to do some what projects project on voice a consonant then days in month another project on media of a given number or pattern number of digit in a given number multiplication table divisible divisible extended location of the result of sum all these are what different projects then counting alphabet and numbers in a string then we look at another project or sum and average of any given number once we are through with that now we move to the advanced part of python such as what function then nested function variable led argument Keyword argument, recursive function, global variable, lambda, map function, generator, Python modus, Python PIP. They will look at object oriented programming in Python, that is Python classes. Then we look at inheritance. From inheritance, we look at what far early in Python, exception early in Python, zip file, pickly, JSON. We look at regular expression in different what dimensions such as mental characters, special characters, the set characters. Then we look at date, time in Python. From there we move to what graphical user interface 
in Python called Tikita. So you can see in this play from Tikita, we use all the knowledge so far to do more what projects such as guest number game, Agman game, YouTube downloader, password generator, then digital clock. At the end of this course, you should be able to create your own project and you'll be able to use Python effectively to work on project. Without any further ado, let's get started. Please click the subscribe button to empower us to continue making more video. Thank you very much.